Hi everybody, Michelle here from Quebec Cyclidé. Today I'm going to do a little walkthrough of my store while I show you all of my new fish. I have African cichlids, I have American cichlids, tropical fish, I have even salt water, a little bit of everything. I mean, when I got back from vacation, we really went all out, got a bunch of fish to fill up our tanks. Let's get started. The first fish are in the tank right at the entrance. I have Lulupis. This is a Lake Tanganyika tank. The Gelidochromis transcriptus pemba from this aquarium are from my breeders. Look at that. Remember in my hatchery video, I said that we had to take some of these out. I didn't have the time to do it in that video. Well, we took him out in the meantime. All right. In this big aquarium here, I have an adult jaguar. I had a smaller one as well, but we already sold him. This little guy, I'm not supposed to, but I named him Buddy. This is always looking at me, smiling, asking for free food like my buddies do. Here is my six foot tank at the entrance. There aren't many new fish in here. I know I promised you only new fish, but what I did add though in this tank are the Paratilapia bleakery. I added some of these to this tank. This fish can get big. Now we're in my little Embuna alcove and in here I have some brand new, actually I pointed a tank, it's this one right here. Yes. <laughs> I have some Pseudotrophius and Panga, brand new. They are big, wow! We used to breed this fish years ago, but we don't have our breeding colony anymore. So I'm really happy to get these. It's like a blast from the past. This is a male and oftentimes the female will be colorful as well. It's actually pretty hard to tell the difference between male and female. Well, not in this tank, not in this guy's case. He's Male, being a male all over the place. Look at that. This is a 90 gallon tank filled with Pseudotrophius Sempanga. So behind me I have my 30 gallon tanks. There are, whoo, let's change the angle. There are two rows of them. These are my quarantine tanks mainly and I keep the bottom ones full just so that my sword doesn't look kind of crazy. But so in here I have some uh, fish that are under observation. I'm gonna bring them, since they're pretty big, they're haps and peacocks, I'm gonna bring them to the six footer that I just showed you earlier. I'm gonna bring them there within a couple days. Once I'm sure they are fine, let's check it out. All right. Olonokara fire fish. This guy is like five inches long. This is the strawberry variety. Those descriptions to me, I mean, they're just, uh, I won't say the word on YouTube. It's strawberry, dragon blood, firefish, blah, blah, blah. It's just it's pink, orange, or red. That's all it means. There's nothing scientific between there. It's just people trying to act like poets. All right, enough of this beauty. Oh, he'll be, he's in the 30 gallon now, but only for the observation. He's gonna go in a 125 soon enough very soon by the, looks, by the looks of it. In my other 30 gallon tank, I have a Otopharynx little bat. This guy's gonna color up in the 125 gallon. This is a hap from Lake Malawi. So you have peacocks, predators, and haps. This is from the haps, hapochromis of their name. I have an article slash video I'm writing about uh, these fish, so in the future it's gonna come it's just a lot of work to write articles and videos so just behind me here i have my 55 gallon tank it is filled with plants it's my planted tank and in it i am breeding not very actively they're sort of breeding all together my little platies and so i got a bunch of new plants and i'm gonna take the time to show you also my little baby platies 
at plants. And we also have, with tropical fish, you have to have tropical plants. It just comes with the concept. And for the aquatic plants, then really has the green thumb. Terrestrial plants, that's more my thing. All right, and now look at my platy. They're growing up so fast. Look at that, he's almost as big as his parents. Or her parents, <gasps> sorry. I assumed her gender. In my big Valisneria, there was a little one hiding. Where'd all the others go? I think they're just all over the place. Look at that. This is just me bragging. These aren't even for sale because, well, I have adult ones as well that are way... I mean, they're a little more colorful. They're a lot bigger. But who doesn't like bragging about their breeding? The names aren't what good. Don't look at them. We're going to change them soon. But for the record, I have like many. <laughs> for the record, I have many African cichlid species that are breeders. But today I'm not bragging about those. <laughs> I'm bragging about the platys that just bred all alone and had nothing to do with my doing. Although putting them in a 50 gallon, 50 gallon tank all alone probably helped. Now behind me, right out here, is the wall of aquarium that you saw in the Fish Storks Tree Makeover Season 1. You saw me set this up. Still don't have the plumbing in because, well, two of the aquariums aren't even drilled. And I have two more aquariums that this season, <laughs> this summer, I'm going to be putting at the end. I'm procrastinating a little. Shouldn't. There's six-foot aquariums, and I'm really fed up of moving six-foot aquariums. Technically, they're my last ones, but, you know, never say never. So in this wall of aquarium, we added a couple new fish. We have our Oscars. This is a 90 gallon tank that's, well, three quarters filled because it is drilled. So if I fill it up completely, it'll just drip. Look at my little Oscars. These are American cichlids. They get super big, but we tell everybody who buys them because I am not selling these babies with the Tilapia Ferry as well. I am not selling these babies to people who have a 30 gallon at most. These are the new ones. Tiger Oscars. Red Tiger Oscar. The albino tiger is a lot more photogenic. But the red tiger is the one I want to show. Next up, we have some red devils. These are also in a 90 gallon tank. They are not very big yet. For those of you who saw my uh, video from last week at the Aquarium of Quebec, I showcased some adult red devils. And their shape will change a lot over time. And they can get pretty big. Next to all these fish in my six foot tanks, that are set up and that are not moving anytime soon. I have added some fish to my hap selection that I already had. And they, I sold a lot of them, so the aquarium was starting to get a little empty. And I added new fish, because that's what I do. I just, I get new fish. I play in with aquariums. This is fun. I cannot remember the names at the moment that we are speaking. I told myself I'd remember them. Calino Cramis and the boy. Lamprelagus or Neolamprelagus Savorai. I haven't seen any of these in so long. Wow. Neolamprelagus Tretocephalus. He can get very aggressive. So you still need a big aquarium for him, even if he stays small. Enantiopus Mabilibili. I have five of these, and these are wild caught. I had imported these a uh, little over a year ago. And now, well, a little colony came back to me. This fish becomes so colorful. Here's some footage that I had taken of the original colony. Now these that you were looking at are a little bit scared, so we don't see their full, perfect colors. So behind me, we have my tropical fish section, which Spoiler alert, <laughs> I'm gonna be taking down and setting back up. I don't like the way it's made. That's probably why I was procrastinating uh, doing all the plumbing behind it. So 
we figured we'd better just do it like we like. And so now we're waiting for some quotes for uh, overflows and that kind of stuff. So for now, it's like this. And <laughs> this is going to be a big summer uh, slash fall. In here, we have adult rosy barbs. These are sublime. They're really excited. They just ate, so they don't have a reason to be begging for food. <laughs> no. If, if, everyone, if you eat, everybody eats. Nice try. Next to this, we have my little shark tank. A huge 40-gallon tank. <laughs> with little red tail sharks and albino red rainbow sharks. Yahoo! They also have some black ghost knife fish. The aquarium below. We have a bunch of fun stuff. Mo these are black mollies. I've wanted some of these for a while because a little personal note. When I started the fish store, my grandmother talked to me about some fish that she kept. The only fish that she ever kept, and she bred a lot with a little box and everything, were black mollies. So I'm really happy to have these. We also have some marble mollies. So not the same kind that my grandma kept. They're pretty cool too. Look like little Dalmatians. We did not get 101. We got a little bit less than that. In this same aquarium, we also got some flatties. These have not bred yet. <laughs> they are Mickey Mouse platies because of the three dots that look like Mickey Mouse's head. In this next aquarium, we have a bunch of neat things. We have some red gouramis. Oh, I love gouramis. So fun to look at. Just the way they swim, the way they move their little skinny fins in the front. So cute. Next we have some high fin tetras. They're more of a low fin. Look at that anal fin. Wow. Oh, high fin's the name they call them. I'm not going to change it with my clever remarks. This next aquarium is pretty cool. They're barbs. Just basic barbs, but no, they're not basic. Look at that. They are red and green barbs. Well, red barbs and green barbs. And you thought there were only orange and black ones. Ha! Finally, we have the saltwater section. I just got some beautiful uh, fish, some corals. Just a little bit to fill up the tanks. A rock beauty angelfish right here. Oh, wow. A couple of star polyps. We've got two kinds. Some hammer corals. These are pretty amazing. Check it out. We've got these tiny, cute little angels. Saint-Tropez purple with a yellow face. can't remember the name. Look at these guys. They're huge! Got the orange sleeper gobby or diamond gobby. It's got many names. That's what he does. He spends his days eating the, uh, eating the sand, playing in the sand, moving it around, making a nice home for himself and for you. We also got this beautiful coral banded shrimp with the diamond gobby. This awesome arrow crab. It's a crab. I'm glad he came out. We also have this beautiful firefish with the crab. All right, so hidden here is a royal grandma. <laughs> We won't spend too much time on him. He's kind of a scaredy cat. So that's it. Every tank that had to be filled is filled. I have fish everywhere, all kinds of them. I have fresh water, salt water. You saw him. You saw him. You were there. Uh, 
So thank you so much for tuning in. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon to get a notification every time I post a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook and on Instagram where I post beautiful pictures and videos that are not on YouTube. I also have a great website where you can shop online and see all the fish I have for sale. I ship throughout Canada. All the links are around here in the video. Check those out and they're in the video description as well. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.